What's up guys, Dino with Playback. Today, we're gonna be looking at two different kind of ports and what kind of apex seals you wanna use with those two ports. So here we have a bridge port. This is the one that's on my shop car, the red convertible. And here we have another bridge, which is going to be the one going into Cat's car. Now I want you to notice that this one actually has a brow cut into the housing. Sorry about the dirty parts, but here we're gonna see the brow cut. So basically the air will have a chance to enter at an angle, smoother angle. Now with this scallop, or eyebrow, I've heard it called, cut into there, as you can see, it brings the port closer to the wall. And here on my bridge port, it leaves a support piece right there. Here's the corner seal position as it passes over. Now as opposed to mine, Katz supports the corner seal from the middle and not from the outer edges. These are gonna be the two apex seals that I'm gonna show you how they function on these particular ports. Um, on the top, I know this doesn't matter, but it's a Goopy one piece, and then we have a brand new Atkins two piece on the bottom. The one piece apex won't have a problem on either one of these setups. So the problem with the two-piece apex isn't really the whole apex seal, if not just this little tiny corner right here. Now the corner pieces go towards the rear of the engine during assembly. So this being the rear iron, we can see that the corner piece has enough support to glide freely. So here we have the same corner piece on Cat's port and it's pretty easy to see that this thing has no support on the wall and it could quite easily get caught exiting the port engine damage. So on one of these engines we have what's called a half bridge. Half bridge means that it has the bridge port on the outer irons but just a large port on the center. What this means is that we're able to run that small corner piece towards the center iron which makes assembly kind of tricky on the second rotor but it's okay. So here you can see even though mine is a full bridge having the bridge on the center iron as well it doesn't have that eyebrow cut or that scallop so we can run two-piece apex seal in any orientation on this motor so basically to sum it all up that rumor that you can't use two-piece apex seal on a full bridge port that's demystified at least for me right here in front of me with the examples that I've given what I've noticed that you can't do is use a two-piece apex seal on a full bridge with the eyebrow cut on the housing or that scallop Thanks for checking us out here on Playback. Catch you next time.